All right. It was Joe Smith Jr. over Maxim Blasloff. Let's talk about it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, to end the night, we had a light heavyweight fight for the WBO title. It was Joe Smith Jr. edging out Maxim Blasloff for the WBO title. First of all, I want to say that this was a, a good, good fight. This fight was actually better than I thought it would be. There was a lot of people all week saying that this fight might be a, a banger. It may be a really action-packed fight. I didn't necessarily think it was going to go that way, but it turned out that way. So it was a treat for us. Let's start with some pros and cons. Let me start with Maxim first. The pros would be I, I like his herky-jerky style. I think that the style that he was using was giving Joseph Smith uh, it was giving, kind of giving Joseph uh, Smith fits. He was kind of giving him different angles and also thought that the way that he was moving around really stopped Joe Smith from being able to plant his feet and land those hard power shots. I like the fact that he was using the jab. I like the fact that he was throwing a good straight right hand. He was even throwing a looping right hand and he was doing a little bit of body work. The cons I would say for Maxim would be that I think he began to wear down in the end. And I think that he should have got more on his feet. I think he tried to get into too much of a firefight at times where he thought he hurt Smith. And I thought that maybe he could have stuck to his boxing skills and it may have pulled him through. As for Joe Smith, the pros would be he stayed in there after that cut uh, under his left eye. He hung in there, even though his vision may have been starting to get blurry. I love the body work. The body was there to be had. And in those last three rounds, I think that could be what won the fight for Joe Smith. If you looked at the left side or of uh, Velasquez's body, you could tell that Joe Smith's right hand was doing work there. As for the cons, I would say that the jab. I would have liked to see Joe use his jab more. Joe was really throwing a lot of power shots. He really was throwing a lot of left hooks, right hands, and body shots. But I did not see enough work with the jab. I would have liked to see Joe jab, you know, like maybe double jab to get in and then hit him into the body or hit him with the uppercut, which Joe did throw towards the end of the fight. But I would like to see more jab work. The fight was action-packed literally from the beginning of the fight to the end. I mean, as soon as the bell rung, they both came out throwing jabs, action-packed all the way to the end. And then we get to the end of the fight. Andre Ward had to fight a draw. I have actually have no issue with that at all, with the fight being a draw, because it was a very close fight. But Joe Smith ends up getting two rounds and one round ends up being a a, a tie round. So let's just talk about what happens for here. As far as Maxim Velasov, I'm sure we will see him again. Uh, I would love to see him in a another high quality, high uh, caliber fight. I think that he earned it. I think that he came to he didn't come to lose. He came to win. Uh, the man showed heart all night, and I think that he should be rewarded with another good fight somewhere down the line. As for Joe Smith, remember when Baturbia fought two weeks ago? They said that if Joe Smith won this fight against Maxim, that would be the next fight. Let's see that fight. I don't want to see any step-down fights. I don't want to see any tune-up fights. I want to see Joe Smith in there with Arthur Baturbia, which I think will be a, a good fight. Now, I don't know if he's going to be able to stand in front of a Turbiev like that. The way that he did some of this fight against Maxim. But I guess we'll have to see, right? Well, what about you, fight fans? What did you think? Did you enjoy this fight? Did you enjoy the action? Did it turn out the way you thought it would? Was this fight just as exciting as maybe you thought it You thought it wasn't? What about Maxim? Do you want to see him again? And if so, who would be a good opponent for him? And then what about Joe Smith? Are you like me and do you want to see Baturbiev or do you maybe want to see somebody else? All right. Give me your comments. If you haven't already, like and subscribe, hit the notification bell so we can keep talking boxing. Other than that, fight fans, it was a good weekend of fights. That's all I got. I'll let y'all later.